What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another epic National Guardians pack review and training guide. I'm going to give you the ultimate training guide for what could become probably the most meta center back in the game. Yes, I know Cannavaro is going to be a bit, a bit shorter than Maldini and Nesta and Turam, but he's going to be an absolute beast. And lads, honestly, I feel like Philip Lamb is going to be a bit underrated as well. I think Schmeichel is going to be a beast. And we're getting to the stage now where all the players that you're bringing out here that we're talking about are going to be like 102, 103 overall. Now, Cannavaro, I think his jump is going to be huge. I think his player ID is going to be huge. And I just think that this card is going to be phenomenal, especially if you play him as a back kind of tree or you play as that, you know, the meta four center back uh, style four at the back style uh, play, right? And Schmeichel, of course, again, he is so big in goals. Now, I, I literally will say, right, I feel Petr Cech is still the best keeper in the game, even with this Schmeichel card. But I know a lot of people will love Schmeichel. And me as a United fan, Obviously, it would be nice to get him, but I just feel that Schmeichel and Czech are so similar that, you know, it doesn't really make a difference who you have between the sticks. You're still going to concede goals, you know what I mean? So we're going to give you a quick breakdown here. We're going to start with Cannavaro because I think he's definitely the most, I suppose, the most enticing player here. He's down as a destroyer. He's got amazing ability straight off the rip. I mean, look at this card. It's just at level one with 27 levels with the booster. He's got defensive awareness at 85. His acceleration is 80. Unbelievable jumping at 88. And then, of course, his balance, physical contact, tackling, aggression, defensive engagement, and acceleration, all about the 80 or 80 plus mark. Now, he's going to go to about 104, 105 overall, sometimes 106, depending on, you know, your play style, depending on what manager that you're using. He has everything that you could potentially want in a center back, apart from the fact that he is a little bit short. Um... So that's just something to keep in mind. Now, he does have blocker, interception, aerial superiority, acrobatic clearance, man marking, and heading. There isn't really much that you need to give him there, you know? Uh, I just feel like that he is a really nice card. Probably give him true passing. The passing is still kind of busted in the game. And we're going to be giving him a booster slot as well. We're probably going to give him a little bit of a different uh, a build here, but I think one that could really work for you guys, right? So this is the build that we've gone for. And it's going to be a 4 into dexterity, 10 into lower body, 5 into aerial strength, and only 12 into defending. He only has 27 levels, which isn't a massive amount. I think he's one of the only kind of like new epic double boosters that's been brought out that has less than 30 levels, right? Now, we've paired him up with the Champs here. Uh, obviously, he's probably the most popular uh, of managers, but it's not going to really make that much of a difference to the card. Only if you want to get the speed to 90. So we're actually going to give him the agility plus one booster crafted. That's going to raise his speed and his balance up to the 90 mark. And of course, your acceleration is going to be 87 and stamina 89. But you're also going to have 99 defensive awareness, 99 tackling, 99, 98 aggression, and 95 defensive engagement. So it's a phenomenal card. He's going to have 96 jump, 91 physical contact. It is going to be a phenomenal card. There is a couple of different ways that you could train him. Obviously, the big decision you'll need to make is whether you want to put his dexterity and his balance up to that 90 mark. You could leave his dexterity at 85. You could also leave his speed at 85 as well if you wanted to max out um, his defensive stats. You know, defensive engagement is not so important, but if you wanted to max out his physical contact and his jumping and his, um, you know, his actual defensive capabilities, you could go that build as well. But I think the first build is slightly better especially when you bring Hedden into it as well. You know, he's going to be very, very, very nice in the air because Carlos is one of the best in the air uh, defenders for me and Carlos is short as well. So it doesn't really make that much of a difference, right? We're also going to look at Philip Lamb here, right? So Philip Lamb is down as an offensive fullback. We paired him up with Southgate here just to give you a bit of a bit of a different flavor, I suppose, for these cards, right? And Philip Lamb has got edged crossing, which kind of steers you where you need to go. However, I don't think you need to put massive stats into crossing. Because I feel like that the crossing in the game is very hit and miss. The passing in the game is very hit and miss. So I do feel that one touch pass, true passing, edge crossing, pinpoint crossing, interception, fighting spirit. Throw a blocker on him even though he's an attack and fullback if you can get it. I will do the proper guides and I will release those as well in terms of the new style that we're doing. But this is just kind of like a real time. We are going to be spinning later on in the live stream. So hope to see you guys there. But it is a really nice card as well. And he's got some lovely skills and abilities here. And as I said, it's four into passing, six, five, nine, four, 13, and three into goalkeeper one, all the way from left to right, or left from top to bottom, I should say. And look at the stats, man. It's phenomenal. Now, we have this older version of Philip Lamb. We already have this version of him. And from the rip, his ball control, anti-possession, as well as his place curling, or his place kicking and acceleration is going to be a little bit better. But everything else is going to be better on this card here with 35 levels. So, 
it, yeah, it just depends, man, especially with the double booster, because we are going to be giving him the hard worker uh, booster crafting, and that's going to free us up a little bit with the defense that his aggression is going to go to 90. We're also going to have his speed, acceleration, balance, stamina, tight possession, low pass, and lofted pass. What did, I guy, what did I tell you guys a couple of weeks ago? I told you about balance, and I told you that physical contact is not actually going to be the huge stat that people think it's going to be with the auto shielded. Balance is how the players retain the ball, and it has been for the last 10 plus years in PES titles and eFootball titles. And we'll talk a little bit more about that uh, in the live stream today. But that's the build that we've gone for there. And then Peter Schmeichel, lads. I mean, Peter Schmeichel, phenomenal player. I've just recently been watching the, the, the documentary on Amazon Prime about Schmeichel or about the United treble winning team. Um, it's, a, it's just an unbelievable card, man. We're going to be giving him, obviously, saving plus one. You can give him any of the goalkeeper booster crafter, crafting uh, boosters. Six into aerial strength. He's going to bring up his jump to 90. Going to have 11 into goalkeeper one, nine into goalkeeper two, and goalkeeper three is going to be seven points. And that's going to max out everything. So with the booster, you're going to have 99 awareness. You're going to have 90 plus uh, catching and clearing, 95 reflexes, 96 reach, and of course that 90 jump. And he's just a huge guy. You know, he's not as big as Donnarumma, um, but I do feel that he is still as bulky in the goal. So yeah, I mean, we're getting to the stage now, boys, where these players, I think you're going to be spinning for them more out of a nostalgic factor because literally every single one of these players with the booster slot that you're able to craft, with the skills, with the stats... With the way these teams are set up now, you're going to have every single one of these double boosters being 100 plus. So Cannavaro is going to go with the manager boost and with the style that you're playing, depending on what play style you're using. He's going to go about 104, 105 overall, which is, it's just crazy. You know, it's crazy. Um, so not saying that Cannavaro shouldn't be that highly rated, but I mean, we're, we're eventually going to have to get like 109, 110 rated cards, you know, or 108, 109. So um but yeah let me know what you guys think as i said we will be back live streaming today first time in a week so we will explain everything we'll have a chat we'll have a catch up we'll play some games we'll push a bit of rank and we might do a few cheeky spins until then i'll see you in a little bit boys peace